Hi again YouTubers, so this is an overview of highlighters that I have. And interestingly enough, oh I just realized I forgot one. Interestingly enough is I used to have, what did I do with it? Oh there it is. I used to have a ton of highlighters. I was big into, see I'm thinking of other ones as I sit here. I was big into MSFs by MAC, Mineralized Skin Finishes. And I had probably every one that came out in a collection for a year and I thought they were all must-haves and then I kind of started realizing for some reason I still have a lot of highlighters do not get me wrong there's probably one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's eleven of them here but what I will say is that the MSFs to me after I started finding better highlighters I found that they were a little bit too glittery a little bit too chunky they just didn't work very well for my skin um, and they tended to make my pores look especially right through here made my pores look a little bit just more pronounced you could see them a little bit more because it kind of sunk into those little pores and made them more noticeable so I'm gonna start with the MSFs I only have two now I sold all of my limited edition ones all of the ones that I was not using if I wasn't using it or grabbing it or loving it I sold it a while ago. My favorite MSF that I will say is the Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Refined. This is what it looks like. It's kind of a peachy tone um, with a little bit of like browns throughout it. You can see that a little bit. But what I will say about this is this is a very finely milled product. Let me see if I can swatch. I don't know how well you're going to see swatches. It's this one right here. Um, has a little bit of a peach undertone. You're not going to see it there. Sorry. Um, on the fingers a little bit better it's very finely milled gives a nice sheen without it being like glitter or chunky or anything like that and I really love it and I use that one a lot in the summertime because it's just a nice peach like sun kissed sun kissed glow the other one that I have by Mac is the color blonde it was from a collection called blonde brunette redhead and this was the pink one and it has a pink undertone and actually you know I have one highlighter on today but I think I want to put this one on um, it depends on what brush. I just keep it. See, I love the look of this one. I forget about this one. I just put it. Well, now you can see where I put the highlighter. I don't know if you can see the difference in the mirror either. I just used a, I grab any type of brush. I just used a MAC 116 for that. Um, a lot of times too, I'll use a brush like this. I think this is from Coastal Scents called the deluxe soft fan I don't even know but it's a really nice fan brush just to go right there if you have something that has like too much glitter or shimmer in it but I really like this one it just has a nice pink flush to it and in winter time I use more of a pink flush because it has that rosy look to your cheeks um, I might as well go on to the next one that I had used this one's kind of a blush but can kind of be used as a highlighter um, I had on the blush I have on today is by Youngblood and it's the color Rouge. It's a crushed mineral blush. I have that on and over top of that originally I put the Wet n Wide Ultimate Minerals Loose Blush in the color Rose Shimmer. This is what the packaging looks like and the color and I like this because it just gives that little bit of extra pop if you have a pink blush on. Very similar actually to the blonde one um, and much much less expensive but very nice. They have other color selections. They have a peach one too. Um, I use it every once in a while when I just want a light blush, but um, in the winter time I need that little bit more of like flush look and then I add just a little bit of sheen to it. Um, another one that I've had for a really long while and I have it in a duo is NARS Albatross. It's this one on this side. This is a blush color called Lovejoy, but NARS Albatross has just a golden beautiful sheen to it. Um, I don't know if you're seeing these. Yeah, there it is. That was the Refined, and that's the Albatross. You can see it a little bit. Um, that is a really, like a lot of people talk about that one. Um, it's really pretty. My only problem with it is sometimes it looks a little bit too light. Um, depending on my skin tone, I feel like it can just kind of pick up the light funny a little bit, but it's very finely milled, um, and it's a beautiful product. Although it's not one of my favorites. It's not one of the ones I grab for the most often. Um, next thing I'm going to talk about is something from MAC called a cream color base. And I have two of them. I have the color Hush, which has a little bit of a 
like kind of a peachy pink under more of a peachy undertone and then i also have the color shell which has more of a pink undertone to it eh, it's not showing up as very pink but these are cream based products and you put these on before you put your blush on you just want to tap it onto the cheekbone maybe your brow bone in between your lips anything like that but these products stay all day they are as you can tell by which one's this hush i mean i use these all the time and I've tried these with brushes, I've tried everything. I tend to do one of two things. Either I use my finger and just tap it on, or I use a really thick, dense brush like this. Um, this is the Round Top Kabuki by Sigma F82. And I just kind of get it in there and I just tap it into the top of my cheekbone. So one of those two, but I really, really love um, cream color bases. And they also help your blush stay longer because if you put a cream product on first and then you put a powder blush on top of it, it adheres really well to that cream um, and it just has a beautiful, beautiful color to it. The next one I'm going to mention is kind of a blush. This is yet another blush, but um, it's also called an illuminating powder. It's it's another Wet n Wild, interesting, Mega Glow illuminating powder. I've had this one for a really long while. It's Spotlight Peach. Um, See, it definitely looks like a blush. It kind of reminds me, actually, of a cargo blush. Look at that. How funny is that? Wow, I never realized how similar they were. Swatch. Yeah, definitely big difference. This one is the Wet n Wild, and this one is the Cargo. Um, well, just difference in colors. But um, the Wet n Wild has a really nice sheen to it. Again, it's very similar to the Wet n Wild, like, loose one, and the MAC... MSF. They can be used on their own or they can just use be used as a little extra bit of that pop to a color you already have on. Um, but for an inexpensive one, it's beautiful and gives a nice sheen. Um, of these two, I personally would go with the um, loose one, just what I like of those two products. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is the Cargo Blu-ray High Definition Makeup. This one is considered, oops, I just stuck my nail right in through that, a blush highlighter. And it's just interesting. It's so finely milled. It looks like it has a little bit of a pink color to it, but it just has a sheen. I should have really grabbed a paper towel, but I have a towel in my... Sorry, I have to wipe my hands off. Um, it has a just really, really, really finely milled sheen. And this is actually a beautiful color on light colored skins without being like albatross that's almost too white. This one is just gorgeous for light colored skins. Um, I know they're harder to find now. Sephora doesn't carry them anymore, but I think Ulta does. Um, so I really like that. The next one that I'm going to show you is by Stila. And it's called the Illuminating Finishing Powder in Rose Gold. This is what it looks like. My biggest pet peeve about this product is it didn't stay glued in. Like that to me, I'm sorry, if I'm spending the money on it, it better stay glued in. This one has a little bit more of a glitter to it. It is a very pretty product and it gives a nice result, but I have to be very, very careful when I use it and how I use it. And I have to keep it away from the inner corners of my nose where I can have more pores. I have to just keep it back a little bit further. So that being said, but I personally would not waste my money on Stila's highlighter. This to me is ridiculous that that happened. Um, I do have one too. I think it's in my travel bag. Someone sent to me by a company called Marcel. Um, it's a, I think a Canada brand, but it is a gorgeous highlighter similar to the Stila, probably less expensive, but very, very similar in results to it. The next one I'm going to mention is a MAC, what are these called? Beauty Powder Loose Powder in the color Natural Flare. It is probably discontinued because we add or limited edition. It's really hard for me to show it to you, but it is a loose powder. Look at the sheen on that. Again, very similar to the Stila. I have to be very careful with it um, and just use it in select areas because it can make me look, a li my pores look a little bit noticeable, more noticeable than I want them to be. Um, one of the last ones I'm going to talk about is a MAC one, and it's, I have it in palette form, and it's this one right here, and it's similar to the Albatross. See how white that looks? But it doesn't look like that when you put it on as a highlighter. But um, it is called Emphasize, and you can order it through the pro phone number and have them send it to you, or if you have a pro store near you, I don't. Um, and they sell it in just the palette form like that. It used to be in a little set, and it actually had, it was kind of cool, 
it actually had these two colors together half and half in something like this which was really cool because you could use one side as a contour and one as a highlight um, but that was years ago um, but they do still carry these in the full size just only at pro um, again not one of my favorite ones I grab for consistently but it's I've had it for so long it's a nice product um, the last one I'm going to talk about is the Dior what is this called powder shimmer in O2 Dior Amber Diamond. This is what it looks like. So many people have raved about this and talked about it. And it's a beautiful peach tone. It has a gold just sheen to it. It looks like much and nothing in the palette and when you use it on it's so hard to explain because it just it isn't noticeable but it just brings out the high points of your face and it's just gorgeous. It is very expensive. Um, for something along this line as your tends to be but honestly if you are it is my favorite highlighter and if you are looking for a highlighter that will last you forever this thing because you you really don't need much highlighter you only need a very little bit because you're not doing it all over your face it's not a face powder it is just a slight highlighter and this thing is gorgeous it is beautiful it is so worth it when everybody was talking about it I was like I don't think this is worth it I don't need it and I don't even remember what made me decide to finally bite the bullet and buy it, but it is gorgeous. It will be a must have forever for me. It is just absolutely gorgeous and a phenomenal product. Um, if you can't afford this, I would say, I think this is discontinued though, I'm telling you. Um, if you want a powder one, the MAC and Refined, you might be able to find it at a CCO cosmetic company outlet in outlet stores. Um, if you want something that's always around a MAC cream color base, um, this is not something that um, is the same as a powder, but gives you beautiful results and helps your, your blush stay on all day. If you want something inexpensive, I would suggest the Wet n Wild Ultimate Minerals Loose Blushes, but maybe um, try, you could get a peach one or you could get a pink one, um, depending on what colors of blush you use. Or if you just want to save the money, instead of getting this, you can buy a couple colors in this. So that's just an idea. Um, so that's my overview of highlighters. Um, it's a wide different range of everything you can think of. I hope this helped you. I hope that you got some information out of it that will be useful for you. And uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.